Plastics are treated as a product that miraculously appears from nowhere and it goes to nowhere. It starts when the oil and the gas leave the wellhead and it keeps on being a problem at every step in the stage along the way. Why is it that we're seeing so much more plastics entering the environment? And there's no better place to be talking about that than here in Houston. This is the story of plastics. end of Houston all the way to Baytown, it's almost a pattern. You have a refinery, a park, a school, a refinery, a park, a school, a chemical plant has a huge amount of green space next to it and is usually across from neighborhoods. Then a refinery, a park, a school, storage facility, a park, a neighborhood. Most of the industry along the Houston Ship Channel is the chemical complex, is the chemical cluster. So the chemicals are used for products, for plastic products. And I don't think people know that. Chemicals cause health issues to the respiratory system, neurological system, cardiovascular systems. Um, and so community members in this area are, are constantly reporting health issues in terms of breathing, in terms of headaches, nosebleeds. Other people don't have to go through this. Why should we? Mm -hmm. Far before the plastics enters our oceans and enters our waste streams and enters our food supplies, it is entering the communities that are being affected by this build out every day. And their reality is a reality that we paid too little attention to for too long. Like most of these people want to talk, they want to speak, they have no idea. They've been living here their whole lives. They'll come out to meetings and say, I had no idea that I was being exposed to X chemical for X amount of years, that it had any sort of like effects on my health or on my children. They'll say, I've been living here my entire life and I never looked at the refinery as hurting me. That is part of the hidden story of plastics, and it's a part that needs to come into the light. I would want someone who goes into a store to look at a plastic product to know that poor rural communities with no resources are experiencing the fracking. I want them to know that it took a pipeline, an 18-wheeler to cross through a community because there is no 18-wheeler traffic in nice communities that is being transported and it is being refined and that it is causing everything from contamination of groundwater in rural communities to pipeline leaks and spills from point A to point B. And then when it gets over to our communities, that that same material, that same raw material is being processed, that it's letting off toxic fumes, that it is shortening the lifespan of people, that it is shortening the lifespan of children. Because folks who have lived in these communities and who have suffered the impacts have never seen one tear, have never seen one dollar, have never seen one organizer in their communities trying to stop the toxic health impacts. That's what I want them to know, that it is killing people. It's a very real thing for us. It's our lives. <laughs>